My name is Chad Hightower. My call sign is KO4NUE and uh, I've been a ham for a little over two years. I've really started to struggle with getting antennas up to height as being a ham. Usually around 20 to 25 feet is the best I can do. My son and I own a machine shop here in Campobello and a welding shop. So him and I have designed a system to get antennas up to currently the antenna behind me is I've been able to get it to 73 feet. Watch the videos. They'll be broken into three separate parts. Layout, getting the antenna up, the guying system, and then uh, tripod separation. So if you're an older ham whose body doesn't work but your mind still does and you want to get antenna height to height, this video's for you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I see what you mean now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're in EOC and you want to deploy multiple antennas on different mountaintops up to 60 feet, this video is for you. If you're a new ham and you're struggling with height just in general, this video is for you. That's pretty good, yeah. You see my point? Uh -huh. <gasps> wow. So, if you want to get on mountaintops with it, I don't think this antenna <laughs> is for you. The two prototypes that we have one the tripod separates the other one does not if a club owns the tripod that separates just think of the revenue that you can generate by renting the tripod out for club members to use and letting them put their own masting system up for their antennas so just a consideration for the ham community and i hope you enjoy the videos so we're starting off with three fiberglass poles and a two meter antenna with RG6. So the poles are four feet. So we're starting off at 12 feet and then uh, about 15 feet to the top of the antenna. Okay, so I know you think we're cheating a little bit, but I'm trying to get everything I can get. Okay, so, and as far as the guying system goes, it looks pretty complicated, but it's really not. When we get it up to height, you'll be able to see what I'm, what I'm talking about.
to go one more or what you want to do? It's up to you. Let's take it all the way. See what we can do. So all the guy controls are on two legs, north, south, east, west, and if the tower is leaning or the poles are leaning, can you shine up and see how that's leaning a little bit? Mm -hmm. All right, so it needs to go, it needs to go west. So I'll just grab this line right here and pull west and loosen the east just like that okay and then I'll take another assessment and look at it and looks like it needs to go north so I'll pull north here and loosen south here now it's pretty straight now I've got four more feet to go and everything's straight okay so at this point you got to keep the bow under control so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna release i'm gonna release four inches release four inches release four inches and release four in all cardinal directions and then i'm gonna go up until my guy lines are tight again all right that's so that needs to be loosened again loose 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 and loose. And up. All right. Loosen, 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 loosen. All right. So now I'm at max, and can you shine up and see how it's bent? You see it? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to pull south and loosen north and pull it, okay, and that actually looks pretty good to me, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, now it's time for final adjustments. This is KO4NUE. Can I have a radio check, please? KO4NUE, KO4CHLF, Okay, Keith, thank you much. Appreciate it, bud. I'm going to clear on out. KO4NUE, I'm clear. Right, there you go. So, all right, how many feet? I have, have to count it. 61. 61 feet. <laughs> All right. Well, there's how you put up 61 feet in about a half an hour, not counting layout. Okay. And I have prepared to separate the collar. And here's how I've done that. I moved all of my, I've installed my center pipe that goes in the ground. Now I have a plate for that, but for demonstration purposes today, I'm not going to use it. I've moved all of my guy controls to that pole and I've clamped the pole off. Okay, so the antenna is, is guide. All right, now what we're going to do is separate the, the legs. There's one leg. You can see it's gone. And then second leg and then the third leg 
Let's get that out of the way. Now what we're left with is just the bare collar. Alright, make a final adjustment on my antenna, tighten everything up.